Oi. I'm going to make a start in a second. I'm just checking a couple of things. Do you want to, one of you want to try and test TTS for me? See if you can hear it. Want to see if it works? Peep peep poop poo. Peep peep poop poo. Could you hear it? Uh, it works for now then. Not sure how long it'll work for, but... Cool. Let's make a start then, shall we? Good evening. So, for those of you who missed the end of the other stream where I made the character, we are playing as Beth. We shall be punching things. Hoi. So I have started as Swordswoman. All I've done is I've been through the beginning area, which is back that way. Made my character. Killed a troll, which gave me this ring. Additional reduction of enemy points. That's going to be really useful when we actually start punching things. But for now, I'm going to poke stuff with this sword until we actually find the punch weapons, because they're a lot later on. So I need to get used to Dark Souls 2 again now. It's been like a year or so since I've played this. So this is the starting area. And this is literally a tutorial this time. Like Dark Souls 1, they kind of throw you into it. Dark Souls 2 teaches you everything. You look on. Hi, Alex. Um, my melee weapon has to be punching weapons as soon as the moment I get to them. So the moment I reach the vendor later on, I have to use the Cestus, which will be the first ones I come across. It will not take long to get to that vendor. But everything else is fair game, so if I want to use any magic or pyromancy or miracles or anything like that, I can do that. It's just whatever I use as my melee weapon has to be a fist weapon. So for this we are going to go light and nippy. So we're going to keep it with light armour, get all the dodge stuff, eat all the penis enlargement pills. So I am just running through the tutorial area at the moment, picking up the few handy items and stuff. Do I have anything I could leave for them? I do. Small, smooth and silky stone. Right, what are you giving me for it? A faint stone. That's magic enchantment, I think. Boom, boom. Yeah. Yeah, I did kick the ladder down. Get this item. Yeah, the crows are cute. You never actually get to see them. So Test. in this one they're called like... Test. 
in this one they're called Snuggly and something else. But in Dark Souls 3 they've got dump. Now I've got to remember that the jump is a different button. And I don't know why, Alex. I literally removed everything. Went onto the new site, signed in, and rehooked it all up. So yeah, I need to remember. Jump in Dark Souls 2 is on the thumbstick, and not from the same button as rolling. Grab these and try again. Oh yeah, you can see I'm super ugly now. The moment you die in Dark Souls 2, you just end up like a, a horrible zombie. And the more often you die, the uglier it gets. There we go. Amber herbs, they'll come in useful. They're like a consumable you can get to get spell uses back. So yeah, this is Beth. She even has a little bit of makeup, but you can't see it on this. Like when I can go human again, I will show you. So this is the plunging attack bit. Yeah, I do know Dark Souls 2 better than I did Dark Souls 1 and I have played it more recently so I shouldn't be too bad at the start. And over there you can see some old friends. And this engine still has the same bug as the previous one where the frame rate of stuff in the distance just drops horribly. So you can see the basilisk over there just sort of freaking out. While the ones down there look all fine. So they look fine. He's got a bit closer, he looks alright now. Although I'm not sure if it's technically a bug, I think it's more of like a, like an optimization thing. Now how many messages and shit are there in here? Not as many. You're a liar. You're a liar. And here is the first view you get of the actual world. Which is quite a nice opening, like you get sunlight in the face. And you find out it's Medulla. You get this nice view of the sea. Yeah, the, the try attacking one is like the worst one because they changed how the illusionary walls work in Dark Souls 2. So in Dark Souls 1 you just hit the wall and that would open it. In Dark Souls 2 you actually just have to walk up to the wall and use the like use the use button. Yeah, I do quite like Medulla. It's like a really nice... It's like a relaxing place. It's a comfortable place as well. You could actually see people feeling safe here. Like, Filing Shrine in Dark Souls 1. Like, I would not stay anywhere near Filing Shrine. Like, you've got... Hollows right in front of you, right behind you. You've got the skeletons off to the left. Like, this area is actually nice and cosy. Like, you've got like a few little buildings. You've got like a little monument up there. And you have this lady, who is the Emerald Herald. Are you the next monarch? Or merely a pawn of fate? Bearer of the curse? I will remain by your side. 
this frail hope shatters. Take this with you. May it ease your journey. And she gives us our Estes flask. The king. He who made Drangleg what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. King Vendry. So she tells us to go and see King Vendrick. Says he's in Horsen. So we'll put the Estus Flask on. And the other healing thing we have in this game is life gems. Bearer of the curse, seek misery. For misery will lead you to greater, stronger souls. You will never meet the king with a soul so frail and pallid. She's telling us we need to level up. We need to get stronger before we can even get to the king. So we'll go and have a look up this way. Have a look at this big fancy monument which does actually have something quite cool on it. So you got this guy. This is the crestfall and there's a guy like this in every game. Undead, aren't you? You have that distinct scent. The smell of irreversible fate. This is Majula. It is a kind of settlement. A place where life is almost normal. And in Drang Lake these days, there are very few places like that. I am Sol Solden. Who underscore? Who underscore? I everything. And now I'm here. You probably heard that it was possible to break the curse here. Well, that's not true at all. So there's a rumour going around that you can break the undead curse here. Me or anybody. But this guy's kind of give up and just said, right, there's now there. Do you know much about souls? Even I'm not certain, but... I'm told that the soul is the essence of life itself. Anything living, sentient or no, supposedly has one. What we call the curse is traceable to the soul. Do you see what that means? To be alive, to walk this earth, that's the real curse right there. Yeah, so he's not happy at all. We Undead will never die. And that's quite a predicament, really. What else have you got to say? There are four beings in this land with giant souls. And wherever you go from here, you'll sooner or later come up against them. Each has a powerful soul and a terrible curse. If that frightens you, then you ought to just give up right now. Like I have. <laughs> but yeah, he's literally just given up. Do you ever cry out for help? The journey of an undead is long and treacherous. You will face invaders from other worlds at every turn. If you need help, why not proclaim faith in the Blue Sentinels? <laughs> when you face danger, the Blue Sentinels will come to your aid. Protection is yours, if you wish. You need only accept their kind embrace. So this is actually a really good thing to do, because... The Way of the Blue is like the Protector Covenant. There are a couple of other covenants that people can join and if a way of the blue gets invaded it can call in those other covenants to help. That is a wise decision. People are weak but the blue sentinels watch over us in their benevolence. And they also kind of changed how invasions work in Dark Souls 2 as well. So in Dark Souls 1, you had to be human for people to be able to invade you. Dark Souls 2, it doesn't matter. Just being human increases your chance of being invaded. Here. It 
suit me just fine. As I have nothing, it will grow on you, this place. So the only way to actually avoid invasions in Dark Souls 2 mm. is to play offline. So here we have the front of the monument with some weird scratches on it. This is called cool. Dark Souls 2 keeps a track of how many deaths there have been worldwide for all the people playing online. And there have currently been that many. And then round the back of the monument, we have this. The letters are worn beyond recognition. But what this used to show was clues to the DLC that was coming out. So it would have like a little poem about um, each of the four DLCs is each of the four DLCs is like centered around a king, and this would have like a little poem about them until that DLC came out. Then it changed to a different one. But yeah, um, they can be basically. It's another player invading you. If they kill you, they get some of your souls and a reward, and you have to like go back to that spot and retrieve your stuff again but if you beat the invader like you get some souls as a reward as well and you can get special items that you can trade into your covenant um, and they're like a currency and when you trade them in you get better rewards and better items and stuff so it's worth doing like it's not essential but it can be a good laugh as well. But I do it a lot in Dark Souls 3 because some of the rewards for it are really good. If we have more life gems, we have a blacksmith. Who are you? Oh, I packed my tools in here, seeing it was vacant. And now somebody's gone and locked the door. So this poor guy has put all his tools and stuff in a blacksmith shop. And then some bugger locked the door when he wasn't looking. So let's have a look around the rest of Majula. We have a couple of tents. We have another little cliff way up here. Some more items. We have this as well. So this I'm not going to kneel at because this is called the Covenant of Champions. If you join this, you take more damage from enemies, enemies have more health, and you cannot summon people to help you. It's like a challenge mod. But the reward for Covenant of Champions is you get like more souls and stuff. And in here we have a cat. Oh, I'm dead, are we? And one without much time remaining. Just about ready to fall apart, I'd say. Not exactly the time to be chatting with a cat. <laughs> well, suit yourself. Oh, yes. You may call me Shalqua. Enchante. Shalqua. So, what did you want anyway? Ooh, you smell wonderful. <laughs> uh, Shalqua is quite cool. So, if you want to leave a covenant, she'll do it for you. She'll tell you the covenants that you are in and what rank you are. She sells a couple of cool items as well. We've got a ring that gives you health back for attacking things. A ring that reduces fall damage. A ring that says you're easily easier to be detected by enemies. That one is more of a co-op thing. If you wear that and somebody summons you in to help, the enemies will go after you first before they go after the person who summoned you. So you can kind of like tank for people if you're doing bosses and stuff. So name engraved ring, easier to connect players who chose the same god. See, this is weird because it was a multiplayer thing, but like the god that you're given is pretty much random. 
and then Ring of Whispers lets you hear Voices of Foes. Useful for locating hidden enemies and perhaps for a few other things as well. And then for actual items, she, she actually does sell useful stuff. So Homeward Bones, Prism Stones, which are like little markers you can put down, Alluring Skulls, which can draw enemies away, and Lloyd's Talisman, which you can stop things healing with. Nothing's... well, that's dismaying. So Shalqua. And then over here we have a secret... Knock the rock down. There we go. And we get an Estus Flask Shard. So our Estus Flask only has one use at the moment. You have to find shards to get more. And then also over here we have these little buggers. Most people who die at the beginning of the game will have their first death to one of these guys. Because they are way stronger than they look. And stabbing goes right over their head. In fact, most attacks go right over their head. Stop it. And you can see they've knocked a fair bit of health off me already. Just because they don't stop. One down. And yeah, these guys are little assholes. Although there is like a secret in the game. You can find one of these somewhere else in the game. And you can lead it all the way back here. And then they have like a little interaction together. Right, I need to be careful now, because this guy might actually kill me. In fact, no, I've got life gems equipped. Fuck it, let's use one. So life gems are... one of the other methods of healing you get in Dark Souls 2. They're not... as strong. Well, they're not as fast as using your Estus Flask. They're much slower and they heal a lot less, but you can get... You can see I've got like 23 there, while I only got one use of my Estus Flask. Uh, oh. Uh, hello there. W w welcome to my uh, shop. I'm Morlin. And I... Well, I oh, I'm sorry, I... I so this really is Morlin. Morlin basically just sells basic armor and weapons but as you go through the game and defeat bosses he sells the boss stuff as well a lot of people who are speed running will kill him as well because the armor that he's wearing uh, gives you extra souls so you can level <laughs>
<laughs> Hello, you cuties. I am just grabbing myself a drink before I begin. Peep, peep, poop, poop. Peep, peep, poop, poop. Fist me, daddy. <laughs> I didn't come all the fisting jokes. Right. I have a drink. Let's get going. Oh, friend! Oh, new friend! Friend! Oh, my friend! Oh, friend! Hi, Trua. I should have the thing set up so you can talk. I don't think I ever put that verification thing on. If not, I'll turn it off. Let's have a look. I'll just double check. Um. Ah, it works fine. So yeah, here we are. Last stream yesterday sort of died horribly because my internet connection died. <laughs> so the plan is, I have my starting character. I've collected a couple of bits from the starting area. We're going into the game proper now. So I'm going to get my way to the first merchant. And the first merchant will sell the fist weapons. And then from on there onwards we are punching everything. Um, no worries, Trua, you look after yourself. So yeah, I hope you had all, all had fun watching Alex slowly lose his mind trying to find more moons in Mario Odyssey. I'd have lost it long before now with him. But I, lo I almost lost it playing the first Assassin's Creed game where you had to... Uh, Assisting should be pulled up a counter. <laughs> Wow. Not the worst the worst name I've heard for it. I think most of this stuff should die pretty easily. Should. And then we can get to punching everything. <laughs> Worse than most at least. Right, I don't think I've fought anything in here. No, I didn't. Not before the stream crashed anyway, so... Got a little bit of exploring to do. Ow! Ah, two. <laughs> I can believe it as well. Hello! This isn't where I wanted to go. I failed at jumping again. Musto walking in. I'll work out to say stuff eventually. I am almost as bad as it is. <laughs> you gonna get up? Yeah, you are.
Oh, Demon Souls, good. Yeah, I have not played Demon Souls. It's the only one out of the series that I haven't. But I have a PS5, luckily. So I am going to be playing it at some point, but I have these stupid challenge runs to do first. Plus, I do quite like like Dark Souls 2 and 3. <laughs> Just take credit for it, nobody else will know. You'll get away with it. Oop. Trap. I can hear people in here as well. bother with any of these. Somebody hiding in the corner. <laughs> oh no. Sorry, right, there's been plenty of uh, mum and dad stories in our chat and Discord as well. Ah, I didn't want to go up the ladder. Ow. Who's shooting arrows at me? Oh, it's him up there. Right, we are almost there. The merchant should be in here, if I remember right. <laughs> so in through here. On fire. And then sorted. Buy something. Oh, come now, help an old woman and buy something. She doesn't look very well. Look at her hands. She's got nails like Manu's. There we go, that's what we need. Two of these. What else has she got? Human effigies, life gems, throwing knives, key. We shall buy that key. Thank you. Right. Time to fist things. So. I'll I can't use them properly one-handed, but I can use it two-handed at the moment. Let's see if I can sort that out by levelling up a bit. So right, she's been breaking all of her nails recently. Surprised she's got any left. So what stats do I actually need for these? Ten strength and seven dex. So that hope. Is that a shard? Here, let me see it. Oh yeah, she can make my... To see light, however fit. Esther's flat better, so I can get more healing. Thank you. Now I have two healing. So we're on 11 strength. Now we can punch things properly. There we go. And we got heavy punches as well, and a parry. And I can two hand it. So I can't do the fancy thing yet, but I can punch things now. You're alright, Manu. 
doing important video work. A bow! We shall keep the bow. It will come in useful. Dude, I've opened your blacksmith. Okay, we shall be back soon. I have only broken nails a couple of times and it has been painful every time. Alright, didn't mean to go to this one. Other one. Oh no, I'm sure I've missed something. Ow. Okay, that staggers them quite well. Time to punch everything. I shall have to try some at some point then, wanna? we got is coming really handy. Like it's staggering everything when I punch them. Come on, down you come. drop something? He did. Throwing knife. Yeah, I get my nails caught often and often, they're only short. Like, I finally picked up my base again the other day and the first thing I did was got my nail caught on one of the strings. Right, so it's click on the stick to jump. There. So yeah, the forfeit for this run is that the only melee weapons I'm allowed to use are fist weapons, but everything else I can do whatever I like. So I might also be investing in some magic and stuff at some point. Until then, it is punch everything. Well, let's see how it does against multiple. That's not too bad. We got you over in the corner. Synapsis. Just in time to see me get killed. So how are you doing? How did your raid get on last night? I had to duck out towards the end of it.
<laughs> yeah, I redid a bunch of my alerts recently. <gasps> Yay! All good then. Elijah can go and enjoy himself at nursery for a bit. <laughs> yeah, I wondered why we couldn't hear you saying anything. Elijah enjoying his nursery then. <laughs> yeah, it's a good plan. Make yourself a checklist or something, that's what I do. But I always forget to switch my microphone and stuff before. Granted, it's not a proper stream unless you have technical issues at some point. Right, so we got these two sneaky bastards in here. Yeah, there's always something that I forget before I stream. Usually it's to get something to drink. just in the way of it at the moment. Ah! Guy's throwing grenades at me. Guy hiding right here. No, it's still there, it's just my head's in the way of it at the moment. I am going to move stuff around a bit so you can see it better though. Right. We are back at the bonfire. Now we have this area down here. Right, this guy's respawned, I just remember. I got sat at the bonfire, didn't I? Yeah, that's all this bit around here to go. This is where it starts getting tricky. Because this is when it'll start throwing proper tough enemies at me. Like the one that's... Div never learnt to fight throughout his entire play. Right. Tree. No. 
who's going to ambush me? You. Ah! <laughs> Hi Neo. You feeling any better after your nap? And yeah, Alex took a little longer than he expected to get the rest of the moons. So he's uh, ended for today while he does a bit of grinding and stuff. Oh, one of these guys. Didn't even have a chance to get up. Oh no. They've probably heard that that new Black Hair album is coming out. So they'll be catching up on it, won't they? This guy. him <laughs> yeah that karaoke oh, was bad oh, Oh, thank you, Neo. I'm always impressed by like the little poems and quotes and stuff you've got. Ow! Right. Up this way. There's no way I'm fighting that thing yet. I think this just goes round in a circle, if I remember correctly. It's been at least a couple of years since I've played this game. <laughs> oh. Now I'm going to have to go all the way, I think I might have to go all the way back round again to get that. Ah, uh, no, I might be able to just go off the side here. No worries, Gemma. It was nice having you here. Ha ha, trouble go boom, ha ha, trouble go boom, ha ha, trouble go boom, ha ha, trouble go squid. <laughs> Where did it put my blood stain? Bye! Ah, there we go. Put it there. So I don't actually have that far to go. No, it me long. This punching is not working very well at the moment. I need to get better at dodging stuff. Either that or I need a couple of upgrades or something. Dun 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 dun. Right, so we got this guy out here. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh yeah, something else that Dark Souls 2 does. The more often that you die, your maximum health goes down. And you get more messed up as well. The more often you die. So Beth is now going a bit bald. And you can see my maximum health go down at the top. <laughs> Hi, Brina. I have my punch things. There. I have my souls and I am back. <gasps> yep, that is the plan. So let's head back to Majula, see if I can do any upgrades. I think I've only got one Titanite, so I might only be able to do one. But I might be able to get the other thing that I wanted. Where is she? There you are. Bearer of the curse. Seek souls. Larger, more powerful souls. Seek the king. That is the only way. So I've got to go and find the king. Yes, this land swallow you whole. It has so many others. Yeah, the Emerald Herald. Right. More strength, please. The holy poop, 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 Hello, Blacksmith. Stand back. This is dangerous work. The name's Leningrast. Just a certain The name's expression. Leningrast. And you are? Uh, uh, another useless Stop slapping spell. me in the face with your tongs. A man ought to labor with his feet planted firmly in the earth. He's just Rope casually slapping me across the face. Fetitious vagabonds. Oh, what does it matter? Go on, show me what you've got. I want to reinforce my weapons. Yeah, so I've only got one I can upgrade. So we will do that. Unless he sells them. Does he? He does. I'll be around. Do I have enough spare souls on me to buy one? I might do actually. Inventory. 2000. Yeah, easily enough. Me one of them and then upgrade my other fist. <laughs> nice one. There we go, we have upgraded fists. And now we can use my favourite Dark Souls 2 feature. So those are the normal punches with the fists equipped. So you can punch, you can alternate, you can do uppercuts, you can do heavy punches. However, now my stats are high enough, you can do a thing called power stancing. So, see he moves into a new stance. So I can still do the normal punches, but now I can also do this. You can do you get special moves. You got the stance to use. If you got enough stats to use paired weapons, I think you need half over strength. So these take ten strength to wield. Because I've got fifteen, I get a whole new move set with them, which we'll be using from now on. So 
We'll put some of this away. Don't need you. Don't need you at the moment. Or you. Or you. Don't want to use the Divine Blessing. That's, that's special. We shall keep the light armour we have for now. Um, I should put that ring on, shouldn't I? Just in case. Increases HP slightly, so yeah, so it's worth wearing anyway. Then I shall make myself back into a pretty human. And we shall go punch more things. So this is human form punch Beth. Right. <laughs> Time for more exploring. But yeah, power stancing was one of my favourite things they added. Like, they kept a version of it for Dark Souls 3 as well. Where if weapons were of the same type, you could use them. I can hear tinkling. That means there's a little fancy lizard in here. Where are you? There you are. Ah, uh, I can't hit it. I literally couldn't hit it. Yeah, you're definitely ill, Neo, if you're talking to a bot. Good helmet. What else is in here? Chest. Is it a good chest or a bad chest? Looks like it's a good chest, it's not breathing or anything. And we have shield and some repair powder. Now we've got a door. Go for it, Neo. We post all of our schedules and stuff on there. And we've got like notifications for when some of our friends and stuff go live as well. Plus a whole load of other rubbish that we post in there. Night item. Find blessing. That'll come in handy. So I've got the small soapstone, which I probably won't be using. Put the other healing stuff away. And now down the ladder. You are quite obviously an enemy. And doesn't open. And a flying sword, apparently. Whoop. That was weird, just seeing a, a sword flying around. What was over this way? We've got more souls. Sneaky way down, maybe? I don't know, I've never tried to get down from here. Nope, that's a lie. That's where the junk pile is. And that there is nothing. What about this door? Nothing. What? Another obvious enemy. There. Hurrah for skeleton. Now the real fight begins. So.
got all those guys over there to go punch. Ow. Yeah, this double punch works really well. Come on. Especially with the amount of stagger we can do to stuff. So I'm not going to fight you because you're a trap. Because there's archers here as well, so... do any of that. But now I'm here so I suppose I gotta deal with it. You fell down. Durr. Is there anything else? Ah, there's items down here. More titanite. Handy. Now I'm going to make my way back up again. And I need to remember to use the stick to jump. Otherwise I'll just be falling all over the place again. Dun 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 dun. Again. Yeah, Punch Beth dying and getting uglier in their process as well. Although you might have missed it earlier where you were also going a bit bald. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, this is the the undead part in the arrow through the head as well. So in Dark Souls 2, when you die, your maximum health goes down and your character also gets like more undead looking as it happens. So that if I die a couple more times, you'll start losing hair and stuff as well. Got like three archers trying to hit me. Get a backstab him. There we go. filled with arrows at the moment. So you look alright once I make you human again, which I'll do in a second. Just avoid the giant boulder. Yeah, you're a liar. You're also a liar. I know a death pit when I see one. Let's take care of this guy. 
There we go. Some more amber herbs for magic. So yeah, Beth, this is what you look like at the moment. And this is you, normal human Beth. Ta-da! Oh, I'm sorry. I was just daydreaming, I think. My name is Kale. I'm a traveler. Kale. Like yourself. I'm navigating the continent to create a map. Why cartography, you ask? Yeah, I wonder what he's actually well, looking at on the floor here. When I first came He's just sort of scrabbling around in mud. It was... Um... Uh, yeah, a curse? Uh, something about a curse? Alright, so he's undead and he's losing his memory. How embarrassing. I seem to have lost my focus. That's what happens when you're but undead. I do know one thing for certain. I have always been very fond of maps. I came to this land some time ago. Have you seen Majula? Oh, there's a rather spacious mansion there. I've made it my temporary home. Well, as something of a Sneaking squatter, in. I'm afraid. Inside the mansion, I found a strange map like none I'd ever seen. I believe he is just scrabbling around in mud. <laughs> now I'm traveling the land to prove it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, that's it. That's why I came to the kingdom. Wait, no, that wasn't it. Then what? I don't seem to recall. So yeah, this happens to all undead. They eventually start losing their memory. Wonderful. Then you are fascinated and by maps. Once they've just lost like all of it, they just become mindless hollows. On you. you should have told me before. Here, take this. A key to the mansion. Yeah, a key. What a joy to meet a kindred spirit out here. Cool. I shall see you at the mansion then. But for now, we have punching things to do. There. So yeah, when you go completely hollow, you end up like that guy. Just sort of mindlessly attacking stuff. And looking quite ugly. So we shall follow the tree upwards to here. We've got another turtle down. And these, if I remember right, are explosive barrels. I wonder if I can trick him into hitting them. Close. There we go. him taken care of. So I can ignore up there for a bit. Do I have any fire bombs? I could do with a fire bomb here. I don't. Wonder for a witching gun will work. Stab underscore. Stab you. Right, let's try throw one of these. Doesn't work. Wait. Stop it. There, got him. So I'm gonna have to try and do this the cheeky way. To trick this guy into throwing a bomb at these. 
but he's also a terrible shot, so... Oh, doesn't help that I broke it, some of them. Come on, do it! You know what, bugger you. I will open the shortcut later myself. Bye. Now here is another bit where I'm going to die horribly. Got a guy over there to talk to. I've got a trap. I wonder. There we go. That went better than expected. So yeah, this area is a big trap. You've got these ballistas that shoot at you if you wander in here. Punchbuth done give a fuck if she die. Punchbuth will murder men with her hands. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, I do need to go back to the merchant. There's something I need to buy off her. So we have a little trip to make. And I will get myself a firebomb while I'm there to throw at those barrels. Um, bugger off. Back down this way. Through here and up the ladder. And there's a guy stuck in the wall over there. Right, so. You sell me firebombs, please. Do you have firebombs? You do! We'll take five for good measure. And then... I want to buy that locked stone as well. Oh, I need a tiny bit more. That box. Yeah, go four thousand. Because I want this. And that means we'll be able to punch things even more. Swap you out for actual firebombs. Punch you. Punch Beth, punch everything. Punch you. Also punch you. And a firebomb. Could have done with that last time. Ignore that bit down there, because I've already been there. Hello. Ow. You dealt with. And I get your helmet. you get a firebomb or fitted these and we have a shortcut so you can 
back with a uh, um I am obsessive with tidying my inventory. So apologies if you get bored of seeing this screen. Spell can go in there, don't need spell. Wood bolts for a crossbow. Hi Manu. It's okay. I have the start I have started the punch stuff. Get backstabbed. So we have our punch weapons. We have enough stats to do the fancy punch combos as well. So we are progressing our way through the first area. Oop. Did not mean to jump then. Watch out for the trap. And then firebomb these guys as they come out the door. Mom. See, now I'm not restricted to melee only. I can use bunches of firebombs and stuff like that if I want to. And then just punch everything when it gets too close. But the reason I wanted that Barrow's Lockstone was for in here. So... Trapped! <laughs> Titanite Shard. But... If I put the Pharos Lockstone in this, we get light. And we also get Sneaky Wall. In here we have best ring in the game. Ring is named for decorative green blossom, but its luster is long since faded. Raises stamina recovery speed. That will come in very handy for punching things. And then we get a titanite slab for more upgrades later. Try attacking. Think carefully. So, yeah, these guys are alright. What you do is you punch this door. And the enemies will open it to try and get you. There's only a couple of locations this actually works in. Ta-da! There we go, that's you taken care of. Fancy skills. And then in here we have... Life ring and a large Titanite shard. So now we have four rings. Raise maximum HP as well. Yeah, we'll use that. So there's usually a lot of barrels down there, but these ballistas have blown them up. So, more exploring to do. I've got two fire bombs. Put the witching urns on, because I think I'm going to need them here. I think this is another trap. Hello there. Travelling all alone in these treacherous times. Well, Hello. I hope you have a very good reason. No oh, hogwash. Who am I to judge? <laughs> My name is Pate. Pate. I journey hither and thither. Like patches. Treasure Devious bastard. Be careful out there. There's talk of unsavory bandits who prey upon travelers like yourself. Unsavory bandits like you. Oh yes, you'll be cautious if you go any farther. 
There's treasure in there for certain, but the entrance locks from behind. I saw the yeah, when she's not human, there. she's not very good. It's, it's the same <laughs> contraption, I'm sure. I was with this warrior, you see. And but he insisted that the he aim of this game is to stay human as long as possible because the you get extra stuff if you do like invaders shell, and stuff that will come in inside. and you get rewards from them and all sorts. I still have the gent's ring. I do hope he wasn't harmed. I'll leave this one to you. So he's saying that this is a trap. I know it's a trap because he's the one who sets it. That was the sound of him setting the trap, and then we have all these guys. Oh. Why I have these equipped? Although I probably won't survive. Let's try to circle around a bit. Maybe I was staggered him enough. Yeah, made it. Right, did I miss any items out here? No, I didn't miss anything. Apart from him trapping us in like a dickhead. Now, Dark Souls 2, they changed how the illusionary walls work. And instead of punching the wall or something like you did in Dark Souls 1, you have to just like spam A at the wall. So if there's one round here, it'll be like. Here! I knew there was one here somewhere. I think this has a wizard stuff in it. Sorcerer's Staff and Amber Herb. Now, can we use the Sorcerer's Staff? Uh, you need to be a left weapon, don't you? Can't use it at the moment, but... I don't think I will. So back into punch mode. See if there's any more hidden walls. It doesn't look like it. And we'll go back out this way and surprise the dickhead who trapped us in. I'm going to jump. I'm going to roll. I see you managed to escape. I, be careful out there. There's talk of uns. Yeah, like you. Oh. But you should take this. And he gives us the white sign stop so to call out for help to one another across the fissures between worlds. With luck, somebody will lend you a hand. So with this, we can put our summon sign down and help other people. So we've got one sat down, one stood up, and a couple in the windows up there. And they've not seen us, so I'm going to sneak into this bit. There. Got a ladder. And we've got two dudes beating up a tree. Giants. Now we're going to have a look and see what's up this ladder. <laughs> you 
yeah. The, like, these Cestus are way more fun than I thought they'd be. Like, that combo and this ring that I've got on. So additional reduction of enemy poise just means I just I can stagger stuff really easily. Now there's a secret here. If I can actually hit him. There. Invisible. Now we've got a couple of guys down here. Um do I have any crossbow bolts or anything? Got some wooden bolts. Let's get the crossbow on. Um, bolts. Yeah, here. Because I know this is an ambush. See, you down there as well. Got a torch and a soul. Got these and we have a chest. More weapons that we're not going to use. Now we have two guys down here. I think that one sat down. Is, is he inactive or is he dead? No, he's moving. He's just inactive. So. Punch him in the back. See, the punching is really good against these guys because... A punch does a thing called strike damage, which is really good against armor. We got another item. More life gems and a homeward bone. I don't think we can go through this door yet. Nah, not yet. But, does the new trick work on it? Anybody come in? Nah. Where did that guy come from? Does he just like run all the way around to reach us? He must have. Where the hell is he going? He run all this way just to come and punch the tree again. And he had a life gem on him. <laughs> so he ran all that way past us through here just to go and punch a tree. Like he literally that fallen bit down at the end he came down there all the way across this room, past us, through there, just to go and hit a tree. Come on you. There we go. <laughs> like he proper sprinted as well, that was brilliant. Hurrah for jumping. There's a dude there. Another one of the turtle men that Div hates so much. Yeah, those turtle guys. Div spent his entire playthrough getting hit by them. I don't think he ever worked them out. And that is the most trap place I have ever seen. Yeah, be wary of Trio. 
the halberd. Oh, there's more than three. Nice view up here, though. So this is a sword of a giant statue. I quite like that look. Like the actual giant statues built into the wall. Like the wall is knackered but it's quite cool. So we go through here. What do we have? We've got a shortcut. I recognise that door. You. Stop it. I've got your buddy over here. So, I'm pretty sure that elevator there leads to the boss. I don't trust you at all. <laughs> so we've got this bit. Yeah, another life gem, some more shields. I'm nicely stocked up on life gems though. So we've opened this shortcut, that I'm pretty sure leads to the boss. So I'm going to go up here and head back to the medulla. Have a look around that mansion that we've got a key for now. And see if I can't get any upgrades as well. Um, I'll buy some more stuff from our friend as well. Use to... What else have you got? You've got like an explorer set. Um, tell you what, we'll buy. We've got five fire bombs. Five witching guns. How many do I have of these? Held 16. We'll get another four, so we've got an even 20. Um, she sells spells and miracles as well. I will get those too. Thanks. Let's go and explore this mansion. This is easily like the nicest area in Dark Souls. In all the Dark Souls, I think. Just nice calming music. Uh, apart from those little arsehole piggies over there, it's quite a safe area as well. So we have books. Lots of books. And a giant book. And treasure. <laughs> Another Pharos lock stone, that'll come in handy. And we've got... Yeah, I can hear the piggies outside, you can even see him. To the little door there giving angry snorts. So you're upstairs. This is the map the guy was on about. 
Yeah, those pigs are assholes. Like, they are way tougher than they should be for this part of the game. We have a skeleton. Skeletons also weak to strike damage, so I can get punched. But yeah, those that little that little piggy is like way stronger than it should be for this area of the game, and it wrecks people sometimes when they come to this area. Yeah, make them into snacks. That's what I did, or tried to do last time. They almost killed me. Got another Estus flask shard. So I can upgrade my Estus flask another another one so I can get three heals out of it. Have a look, see what's upstairs. Roof's a bit knackered. We have a nice view of the sun's rays. I'll punch in a second, Beth, but it might not go very well. They're really tough to hit with these fist weapons. Oh, look at the jumping attack. Jumping attack always hits the floor. Another Titanite Shard. Torch. Is there anything else out here? Nah. So you can hear them one. They've spotted me. So yeah, I did 17 damage. Can't even hit them normally. I've got to like do jumping attacks. Ow! And yeah, you can see they do a fair bit of damage to you as well. Yeah, fuck these guys. Sort out the inventory a little. Uh, we will keep you. Don't want the soul vessel because that will mess things up. Um, put you in there for a bit. Don't need the amber herbs because they're for magic. But yeah, you can see how much Dark Souls 2 throws stuff at you. So you've got options from the very start because we've barely done the first area of the game and look how many different weapons we've got plus the stuff that we can buy we've got a bunch of different armors available already so I was going to grab my soul things out of here Go and speak to Leningrast about some more upgrades. To get better at punching oh, things. I'd give you up for day. So uh reinforce you and you. So they need three each now. So can I buy them? Do I have enough? Use all four. Probably not, but what I can get is some better dodges. Is that a shard you found? Here, let me see it, so that I may help you, however faint it might be. So. Give me extra Estus Flask, please. So what I'm not going to do is I'm not actually going to level up my strength or anything like that at the start. We have this stat here called Adaptability. And nobody likes this stat. So it raises various attributes 
to ensure one's survival, boosts agility and various resistances. So, agility over here boosts ease of evasion and other actions. So you need a higher agility score to get more invulnerability on your dodges and to get quicker use of items. So like if you want to drink your Estus flask and stuff. So we're going to boost that up a bunch. And that's when I'm mainly going to be levelling for the, for the start of this. Like, our damage should come up well, well enough with just actually upgrading the items. And now I'm just going to bump up the adaptability for better rolls. So now, it's boss time. So, down here. Punch this guy. Oh yeah, go and punch this guy as well before he sneaks up on us. Down the lift. I wish there was a a quick way to do the emotes, like they did add it in um Bloodborne, because Bloodborne used the motion controls. Where you could just hold down X and tilt the controller and it would do different emotes. But yeah, punch build is fun. I am enjoying it. So these guys we've got Tate, the guy who tricked us. And we've got Lewitt, who is a guy with two shields. But we want we shouldn't need either of these guys. I was gonna about to say warmth then, but yeah, this is Punch Beth. And this is the first boss. Big, but he's slow, so I'm just gonna punch him in the ankles. Oh, yeah, I can aim for his leg. Handy. Torn off his own arm. Oh, he caught me. And dead. There we go, that wasn't too bad. Say. Visions of sadness. So there is the first boss down. And he gave us Soul of the Last Giant. Soul of the surviving giant who was bound below the forest of giants. 
the Lord of Gi the Giants, who had brought rack and ruin to the entire kingdom, was said to have been felled by an unknown warrior. His beaten and broken remains were then dragged beneath the stronghold where he was sealed away. He was the special soul of the last giant to acquire numerous souls or to create something of great worth. So this guy was a ruler of giants. He got the crap beaten out of him and then dragged down here and chained up. But he also gave us a key. Key, key, key. Soldier key. Key to the soldier's door in the forest of fallen giants. A fort was erected in the forest to face the giants, but now those soldiers are lost and hollowed. They are enfeebled but not without honour and continue to steadfastly defend their country. And it's not that door. So, we have 10,000 souls on us. Let's go get some upgrades. Yeah, I've got a feeling that Punch Beth is going to be a... What happened to you? Oop. Stuck in the wall. Yeah, Punch Beth is going to be a bit of a beast. What do you have? Rhymes with dementia. Stuck for all eternity with your head stuck in a wall. Oh, you can see her face. Anyway. Does she have anything else useful for us? Um, not at the moment. Let's head back to Majula. Upgrade these fists some more. Good afternoon. It's your boy BR. That's what I'm guessing it is. Uh, we need two, we need five, don't we? Five. Three for you, three for you, and we have one large Titanite to go on you. I am having fun. I got a challenge to do with this run by a friend. So the only melee weapon I'm allowed to use are fist weapons like the Cestus or the Claws when I get to them. Of seek souls. Seek like I can use any magic and stuff I want to but my melee weapon has to be the fist weapons. I'm having fun with it so far. More adaptability please. Stick the soul in there for now. Tell you what I will do though. Put this bloody serpent ring on. More souls the better. So, um Soldier door, that's what we were gonna look for. So yeah, I've used a couple of like firebombs and stuff, I've used my crossbow a couple of times, but when it comes to actual fighting, it's the Cestus. Oh, we got some other people. Right, soldier door is down here, isn't it? Yep. What's your question?
<laughs> Soul level one consumable only run. I'd say it's possible. I've seen like um, Lobos Jr. and people like that do some crazy, crazy like Soul level one runs. Like if you were to literally spend all of your souls on consumables, I'd say you'd probably be able to do it. Ah, uh, I've got you. Are you hostile or do I just need to get close? I reckon it's possible, it'll be doable. Like it'd be tough, but I reckon it's doable. We have more amber herbs. We have this guy who is targetable. Come on. Am I just going to backstab you to death, is it? Produce the symbol of the king, which I don't have. <laughs> nice. I think the only one you'd really have problems with probably be like Watcher and Defender. Like that might be quite tough. Like it'd be a really long drawn out fight, but like I saw a guy do Bloodborne hitless the other day, so. I'm willing to believe anything's possible at the moment. Ooh. There we go, another backstab. See you in a bit, Manu. 37 attempts. Yeah, I've been doing a... Just a regular Soul Level 1 run in... Dark Souls 1. And I'm on about... 40 attempts for the Four Kings at the moment. Like, that fight is an absolute pain, Soul Level 1. Is this door open now? And it's dark. Got another another summon. You're a you're an NPC summon as well. Skeletons. Yeah, Ruin Sentinels I can see being tough. Like, I have problems with the Ruin Sentinels usually. Like, last time I played this, I did uh, a full magic run. And even though magic is pretty OP, like, the Ruin Sentinels were tough. Like Nashka's Nashka's the um like the serpent woman, isn't she? Like I remember Lost Sinner as the guy with the mask. I think Nashka's like the serpent woman. But I can't quite remember. Can I reach you from here? I can. Go away. Oh yeah, soul level one, you don't get your agility up at all, do you?
Hey look, turtle man. Oh yeah, this does fuck all to you. Oop. Keep forgetting we can do that. Seventy K with two bosses. Nice, how'd you do that? If I remember right. Yeah, there is. That was the wrong one. I am messing this up. Oh well. Oh, he did it himself, my mind. Don't think they can come down the hole at all. Nah, they can't. Bugger up, man. Hey, look at you. Oh yeah, there's another ladder on the outside. I reckon I can sneak up again. Nice. Yeah, the Seldora set, that's the one you get for killing Malden or whatever he's called. The guy who sells boss armor later on. Oh, it's hurdles. Why are there suddenly three of you again? Why did the other guy just get horribly damaged and not actually die? Morgan, that's the one. Yeah, because I know his set gives you like extra souls. So I know a few speedrunners and stuff that kill him. Anything else up here? Nah, there isn't. Chest. And an invader. Typical. Right. NPC invader as well. Ow! Bad Dennis. I can interrupt your casts, I will. Just to be sure. Got him. 
No worries. Thanks for dropping by. Fuck you, Armour Dennis. We have got a bonfire. Any hidden walls? No. Nope. We have another giant and a seed. Giant rests in peace. <gasps> no, not at the moment. Just like you are not a full-time Hollow Knight streamer. Amber herbs can go in there. <laughs> so, I believe that that is this area cleared out, so... Um, back to Medulla. See if we can do any more upgrades yet. Bye bye. Shall go and see our friend Dennis. Lenin grass. And uh, no updates because I don't have any large titanite shards. So we have first area and first boss done. <gasps> yeah, the hat looks quite cool, quite far. Ta -da. And it's proper embroidery as well, it's not like printed on. So I'm going to get a couple more eventually. But just for now, I am going to nip to the loo. So I will be back in a second. I will leave you with the fancy Medulla music for a few minutes.
Yes, yeah, Sherry Punchbeth is who we're playing as. So we have character sheet. Cestus, Cestus, crossbow, and our name is Beth. There you go. So, where was it we went from here? Oh no, there is other stuff we can do in the forest. I've just remembered. There is another boss we can fight. And there's two places we can fight him. So first... Take care of that, dickhead. Now we are going to fight a boss who is probably one of the most hated in Dark Souls 2. When you first see him, when you go up here. So, get me Estus Flask ready. There he is. What an entrance. This is the Pursuer. Now, if you can remember how to fight him. Fancy twirls. Nope, he got me. So he won't be at that location anymore, if I remember right. And now we are back to Ugly Bath. Yeah, that guy's tough. So I will need to fight him at the other location instead. It's also an awkward place to fight him because there's other enemies that can pop up, so you've got to try and keep him in like a small area. But that's no matter. Go up here now, he shouldn't reappear. Which he doesn't. But you can see these guys get up. So the reason I stayed so close to the ladder is because I didn't want those guys popping up while I was fighting them. So, another human effigy. Some more life gems, another torch, another Estus flask shard, and some repair powder. So, we'll use one of these. Go back to vaguely normal Beth. We will head back and get this Estus flask upgraded. And then we'll go and find the boss's other location and try and fight him there. Hello. So, I don't think I can do any upgrades here. No. Um, 
because you all need large titanite shards now. So. Um. Some more of the rubbish in the box. We're never going to use the Ring of Restoration because it's terrible. That can go in the box. Is that a show? Here. Let me to see yeah. mine. However, if it... Give me another charge for my Estus. And then give me more Super Dodge, please. Yeah, for now it's all going to go into that Where dodge stat. Seek, seek so what's it on at the moment? We're on... 94 for agility. It ca caps out like 110, I think. So, go find the boss's other location. Smooth and silky stone. Oh, I didn't know you could use the smooth and silky stones for healing. I only ever used them for trading. Right. Down this ladder. Some more summon signs. Yeah, still plenty of people playing this game. Despite it being the least popular of them. Head this way. Got these guys out here. There. So that's the thing between life gems and your Estus. There's tons of life gems around, but they are slow to heal while the Estus is really fast to heal you. But the Estus is limited, but the Estus does recharge. We have new sword man. You can get punched like everybody else. knackered part of the castle. I saw you up there with the bow. Cheeky bugger. Dun 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 dun. And the pursuer is now waiting for us on the other side of this fog door. I wonder if you can see him from here. No you can't. He mustn't pop in until after we go in there. Food! Weakness, right, that's actually really good advice. The right hand side of the pursuer is like where he gets messed up the most. So let's see how well we do. Time for another cutscene. There he is. And you can see he's got a whole bucket full of weapons on his back. Stay on 
on the right. And you really don't want to get hit by that because that thing curses you when it turns blue. And he got staggered. Need to be careful of dodging slowly. Get him. There we go. And the pursuer is down. Bye. And this is exactly what we wanted from this fight. Another really good ring. So we'll swap you out for Ring of Blades. Which makes our attack more powerful. Ring of Blades is moulded after the Mad Knight of Alcan's weapon of choice. Increases physical attack. The kingdoms of Alcan and Ven long ago flourished on these very grounds. They were both founded by the same man and were reduced to rivalry and spite. There we go. So now we can punch even better. We've got some more guys over here hitting another tree. There we go. And still nothing happens. And there's no items hit around this bit. So we've got the bird's nest. We have this little drop down. So we'll go down here first. Get this fancy items, which is the Drangling set. Which is what all the soldiers around here have been wearing. And we have the Angry Turtle Man going for a wander. He's actually going to make his way around here. I reckon if I sit here long enough, he will go. Oh no, he's got a limit. I was thinking he'd go all the way around to reach us, but apparently not. And yeah, that ring of blades is well worth it. So now we will go... ...and sit in... where was it? This way. We shall go and sit in that nest and head over to the next area. Say the next area, we're only going to do a little bit of it. So up here we go. And we shall go and sit in the fancy nest.
and this drops us. At this place. Splat. This is the Lost Bastille. So we got some goodies. What have we got? Dull Ember, so that's for Blacksmith. And we got two human effigies. Yeah, that's a good message. Boulder ahead. And we're gonna bow fire. So before we do this, again we have leveling up to do. Don't want to waste any of these souls by dying or anything. Hello, you. Seek the king. Yada yada yada. Yeah, we know this already. You've already said. Give me that adaptability. We're up to 101. That give us some really nice invulnerability on our rolls. That needs to go in the bank in a bit. I was going to check. Yeah, the rings have weight in this. I forgot about that. Ah, well. We shall go and see if our map maker friend has made it here. Still hear the peakies outside. Look at them. See here, and we have a little fire. So our map maker friend isn't here yet. We do have a little fire on this map. The map that is supposedly of of Drang Lake. So we have some better dodges again. So we will head to the Lost Bastille. Do a bit of exploring before we go back the other way. Try jumping now. I'm going to sneak around here because I know there is an upgrade over here somewhere. There we go, large titanite shard. That's what we needed. We got this guy. We also have a trap. But seeing as we've come in this way, we get to use the trap. Ooh. There we go. So, what's out here? We have a hole in the floor. We've got blood stains from people dying fighting something. And we have a chest. But if I go over to this chest, we see an old friend arrive. There he is. So, same rules apply. Try and stay on his right. I don't think he's happy that we took his ring. There we go, he's 
almost halfway done. Over halfway. Uh oh. Spell time. Yeah, this guy has spells now as well. Staggered. Get him. Close one. And this time he gives us twinkling titanite. And a bunch of souls. Shall I see what's in this chest then, shall we? We've got a covetous silver serpent ring, human effigy, and a fragrant branch of yore. So. Going pretty well, actually, Bart. I have taken down two bosses. Took down the last giant. And I took down the pursuer in his boss room. And I've just taken out the mini pursuer in here as well. Which has gotten me this. The fragrant branch of yore. Which we will need for this area. And it got me... This ring, but I already have a better version of it. So I am just doing a bit of exploring. Yeah, the the punching stuff actually works really well because I've got I got this ring off the pursuer, which just increases physical attack. I've got this ring off one, the starting area. And I have enough stam um, stats to power stance as well, which gives me the fancy moveset rather than the regular one. So, continue this way a bit. Yeah, it's going to be tough on like, because it can only really hit one thing at once. Like when it comes to when there's multiple enemies around or if I'm fighting multiple bosses at once, it's going to get really tough. But if I can like draw things out and one one on one them, it's not too bad. Got a key. What does the antiquated key do? Running grass, soldiers, antiquated. The key is very old but in very good condition that it's such that it should still function, but what does it fit? Yeah, I've used like a couple... I've got my... Uh, fire bombs equipped. I should have my knives equipped as well. So I've used those a couple of times. And I do have a crossbow to use as well, but I've almost run out of bolts for it. But it's going quite what well. It? I don't know you, and you don't know me. Things are better that way. This is one of the cooler NPCs in Dark Souls 2. <laughs> you are an odd one. Normally, people keep a safe distance when they see <laughs> this mask. You. I'm called Lucatil. Lucatil is badass. To the far east, across the mountains. They say Drang Lake brims with powerful souls, and so I came to claim my share. Literally came here to beat people up and take their power. Even the rumors did not prepare me. You are an odd one indeed. I've always made a point of avoiding people. While you've made a point of engaging me. I can see that you are mid-journey. If you require assistance, I will help you. Yay! I come from Mira, a land of knights. My sword is always ready. Don't hesitate to call upon me. Whatever happens, I won't be missed. <laughs> You are an odd one. I can see... I there we go. 
So Lucatil is here to kick ass, take names and get stronger herself. Literally her only reason for being here. Time for some secrets, maybe? Large Titanite Shard. Yes, we need one of those. So we'll ignore this way for now, because I know the boss is that way. We have people here to beat up. Right. Can't backstab this guy, he's too big of a guy. Although he's happy to blow himself up. Item down this way. Gold pine resin. Cool. And then I need to push this barrel before this guy notices. There. There we go. And this is what I need my firebomb for here. Because that barrel was supposed to explode and it didn't. Now it did. <laughs> Alright Dave. Punching stuff is actually going surprisingly well. We've got in here, we've got another blacksmith. Let's loot these chests first. More large tiny shards. Regular Titanite Shards. Yeah, I've already beaten the first two bosses day. Uh, just over two hours, like two and a quarter hours. So I beat the first two bosses, uh, which was the Last Giant and the Pursuer. I've just beaten the Mini Pursuer that shows up at the top of here. And I've come to speak to our new blacksmith friend. Oh, why can't they all be this easy? <laughs> and after I've spoken to him, I'm going to go back and do Hades Tower of Flame. Mm. Mm. We've got a wild one here. Shape up. Shape up, I say. Oh, <laughs> I say yes. That's the way. Smith. Looked off. All I want is a so I'm that ember right now. Yeah. <laughs> what? You've got stones, I pray. Give me stones and I'll So this guy can reinforce stuff, which is what we want. Um, do you sell the large shards? You do. Sweet. All of them upgrades. Plus five already. Um, he can do infusions. What infusions can you do? Faint, which is magic. Fire, lightning, dark, poison, mundane, which is rubbish, magic, and raw. Cool. And he wants fire, and he's got like a little thing here, so let's light it for him. Light the torch. If I light this, he should get his ass off that chest that's there. So, go and sit down here. This should refresh the area, and then... Oh yeah, I should put some of this stuff away. 
so I don't accidentally use it or anything. We are keeping with the light armour that we have because I need to be able to dodge and stuff properly. So, there we go, he's moved. What was in this? Oh yeah, um... Pate, I think he's called. Yeah, that's Peter, Peter Serafinowitz. Fuck a doodle do. Right, so you need large Titanite shards. <laughs> yeah, he's the guy who gets turned right at the beginning, isn't he? This guy sells an infinite amount of large Titanite shards. That means we are going to be getting a couple of up couple more upgrades while we're here. Grab the big soul. So how many do I need to reinforce? I need three, six, bye. And get three. Um, tell you what, I'm not going to be using these boss souls. May as well. Hand them in for upgrades while I can. Thank you. And thank you. I'll so if I buy three more and then reinforce, we've got us some plus six fists. Up our little crossbow a little bit as well. Ta-da! Right. So we've done all I want to do with this part. We're going to take the other route now. So back to Majula. Right. Can we get any level ups from you? Can. May as well pop some of these souls while I'm here. So I need. 3,000 for a level up. This should give me enough for it. There we go. Yep, got one for each hand. Means I can do... So I can two-hand it like this if I want to. I can use the normal move set. Or I can use the power stance move set. Yeah, the merchant woman. The merchant hag or whatever she's called. She sells them. So you can literally just go to her and buy them. There are a thousand souls each. Speaking of, I should go and see her. Get myself some more crossbow bolts. There she is. So this lady... 
she sells the cestus. And she doesn't have crossbow bolts. I was thinking of somebody else, but I'll buy some more fire bombs and stuff while I'm here. There we go. Seem like the battles would never Make end. with the fisty cuffs. Poor folk like myself have never yet place to sleep. I swear I keep all me things right with me. She's got a creepy spell prepared in her hand. But me thinks can see it. She's going to move to Majula now. I have been making with a fisticuffs, Bree. Now you've just not been there to see it. Uh, so if I go to Majula, she should be there. So I have already beaten two bosses. I am on my way to a third. Da, 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 da. Right, um <laughs> There she is. Oh you again Come on. It's on the cheap for you. <laughs> so she now sells stuff at a cheaper price for us. Very slightly cheaper. Lovely. And we are going to head to a new area. Because we have punching things to do. Yeah, we won't see the ladder guy until much later. It's like Ladder Smith Gilligan or something like that he's called. So here we have something that we can't move. So we're going to go this way. You idiot. Always reminds me of um... <laughs> Ooh, ladder chan. Oh, Egypt always reminds me of uh, Bobby from Supernatural. Like the guy who teaches Sam and Dean. Brina loves it, really. So now we have... Hey, it's Tower of Flame. We've got this guy right here who I am not going to annoy. Because they are a pain to fight, always. These guys, however, aren't too bad. Especially considering the amount these fists have been upgraded. <laughs> he got a... Uh, he was streaming the other day, Dave, and got raided by Eyepatch. Well, got raided by his cousin. So we had all the weeb chat. Hi, Manu. <laughs> it begins. I might still have the weeb sound alerts on, you know. There we 
go. Oh yeah, the hole in the scenery is still here. Wow! So, wow. so if I angle this just right, you can see right through the stairs, just at the bottom of the screen. That has been there since the game was released. This lifts the arena over there. Ta -da. <laughs> now we have three big guys. <laughs> no worries Dave, we'll get you sorted out. Oh, he did the four combo. It's alright, Dave knows the deal, he's just got to pay me in food. And it's all good. go. Him taken care of. Now I can't remember if what in this chest is important or not. Or oh, you wouldn't want to see Dave's feet. He's a postman. He spends like 99% of his day walking. But great, let's punch him. I might die in this fight because I am rubbish at fighting these guys. See? I can get a decent bit of stagger on them, but it's this combo they've got and how much they turn round. <laughs> yeah, it's always safer to do it in person when Dave's involved. Especially if it's computer related. Now we've got a ring of binding, which one is this? Limits HP reduction when hollow. Well, we're not going to go hollow, so... What summon is this? Is this an NPC? Yes, it is. But we're going to ignore it. <laughs> right. Boss time again. There's a very distinct possibility I might end up just falling off the side of this arena. Oh, never mind. We're He's fully armoured, isn't he? Let's try. Let's punch him. Oh yes, boss had no chance. I'm not surprised, I miss doing D&D &D as well. 
it has been way too long. Dun, 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 dun. But I still have all my D&D stuff stashed in my bag. And I have all the Pathfinder 2.0 books as well now. Well, no. Oh no, you've definitely got chopsticks somewhere. Now this person... This person is the sherry of this game. Are you from these parts? They are a massive scammer. My name is Lysia. I have come to spread the art of miracles, a practice of which I am a disciple. I can see that you are well suited to comprehend their wondrous power. But so she tells us we'll be good at miracles. That's for your heart. Even though we have like no stats whatever to cast them. And she sells a chime, she sells ring, and she sells miracles. These miracles all work, but she's stolen them from people. I'd heard awful rumours about this place, and I'm afraid they were all true. The king, gone. The earth, ravaged. The burden on the people weighs heavy. I fear that, by now, they may have scarce room in their hearts for miracles. Yeah, Dave, I've got the core rule book, the advanced player guide, the games mastery guide, the best theory, and the GM screen. Why so I have I all of us for Pathfinder 2.0. Well, do I need any other reason than to spread the gospel of miracles? No, you're a scammer. My preceptor always said this art should be shared with the world. And such is my only <gasps> Thank you for gifting us up, Manu. And for gifting it to Dave as well. I fight the it is and being out here all alone only makes Dave now has access to all the cute little bears no need for miracles the gods frown upon such soul scrimpers right let's go get some more levels because I have more dodging to get and then I can actually start upping my damage as well. So. Yeah, seek more powerful souls, yada yada yada, you've said. Give me some more of that adaptability. We're up to 106. <laughs> Dragon Rider Soul is in there now. I still need some more bolts, I think. Yeah, we've got arrows. Regular bolts, heavy bolts. Does Leningrast sell them? Yeah, Brino's not allowed to call anybody cheap. Ever. Bye, it's 40 will last us a while. And the rest in heavy souls. Now we have plenty of bolts. <laughs> Done Hades Tower of Flame, or we've done one boss at Hades Tower of Flame. We will come back to do the other one much later. 
because it is an absolute ball ache to get to. So we shall continue this way. Now this is the bit where my memory gets a bit fuzzy. Have you found the dragon yet, Kappa? Uh, I have the DM screen right here, Dave. <gasps> there is a dragon, Manu, but I have not seen it yet. So yeah, the DM screen, Dave, you will have already Dragon seen. D's nuts across your face. Funny, yeah. So, no, I'm not gonna laugh. <laughs> but I'm also gonna show Dave the artwork on the Pathfinder DM screen. It's pretty cool. You might have already seen some of it. Because I also use it as like my leaning board when I'm doing origami as well. But yeah, there's the artwork. And you get the... Um, all the stats and everything you need on the inside of it as well. It is very pretty. I was very happy it got reduced. Now this guy is talking bollocks. Ooh, but I did see an item there. Item. Monastery charm. I don't recognise that item. Hi, Beth. And yeah, there is Sneaky. Sneaky the octopus. Oh, monastery charm there. Cures poison and restores HP. Nice. Hi, Biff. You will be happy to know, Beth, that Punch Beth has taken out three bosses so far. And you are well on your way to punching everything into oblivion. Some more torches and human effigies. Halberds. Punch the universe. Dun 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 dun. Like I said, this is the bit where my memory gets a bit fuzzy. We've got another proper royal soldier down that way. So what's back this way first? Anything? <gasps> An elevator. Hall. Yeah, that's a death hall down there. Let's see where this elevator goes. Because I do not remember. It goes down. I do not remember where this elevator goes. Oh yeah, the elevator is progression. This is where the you carry on to the next area. So let's go back up.
Fork knife. Oh, has my TTS died as well now? Has he finally shut it off and got fed up with people? Unless it's just been really slow. I'm not sure. <gasps> Hi, Jammy. Oh, you didn't. Oh, poor Kelly. You used all your points to try and make me play Fork Knife. Seventy five per cent complete. Almost there. And then Kelly will have to coach me playing fork knife. And so will Brina. We'll bully Brina into helping as well. These guys are getting backstabbed. Oh that almost killed him in one. Did I get his halberd then? Old Knight Science Halberd. Replica of the halberd of the Loyal Knight Cyan, a meticulously crafted distinguished weapon. Sir Cyan was widely known as the kingdom's most loyal knight and when the giants invaded he volunteered to lead the advanced party but was slaughtered most dishonorably. <laughs> Sucks to be that guy. Uh, the king commissioned replicas of Cyan's accruements and bestowed them to promising knights. But not long after they donned the armour, they did they go thoroughly mad. Yeah, it's uh, it's cross-platform, Dave. So I'm going to install it on my Xbox. And then you can jump in with us. And I will make Kelly join us as well. And you can both coach me to victory, or try to. So we got a sublime bone dust, and if I remember that, right, that's the thing that makes our Esther stronger. <laughs> yeah, Dave gets boosted on Fortnite by his kids. Lying about fake doors and stuff. Right. Through the water we go. Uh, you're a liar. There's no illusionary wall there, or illusory wall. <laughs> but we do have sneaky zombies. Oh, we've got one of our old friends as well. I am not risking it with you, buddy. There. <laughs> and there's an enemy above us. So this is what we're using the favourite branch of your for. Ta-da! Yeah, it's all completely gone here now. Right, are you actually... You're hostile. <laughs> yeah, Paige will be boosting us. And up here we have... Elephant Man! You're all right for that. Punches wreck yourself. Let's 
do that instead. Right, what's actually up here? Hurrah for armour. Visions of Friend and then Visions of Hollow. What armour is this then? Oh, just the knight's gear. Yeah, the elephant dudes are cool, but they're uh, not happy people. Pointless. And yeah, a broken door. Nowhere else to go. So that was just to get the knight set. And to get another ex Estus Flask Shard. I'd have thought that ski slot would have ripped ripped the uh, bin bags apart. Because it's a dry ski slope, like it's all brush. Another person lying. Now, do I get the broken textures like Alex did, or does mine work? Mine works. And we have Bonfire Winner. Double bagged a lot of denim. <laughs> So we are getting full on oh dark troshies that's the other thing I saw burning a bonfire to upgrade the Estus flask so um, we need to burn can't burn it in that bonfire, apparently. Uh, let's go back to Majula. Yeah, I only ever went to... <laughs> I only ever went to Ski Slope a couple of times. I think I went once with school. And there are a couple of times I went with... Matt Thorpe and another guy I knew called Phil. There we go, now I can upgrade it. Is that yeah. a shard? Here, to see light, however faint. I did snowboarding. I was never any good at it, I could barely stay stood up. Agility is at 107. We're getting closer. So we need to go here. Right. Is this. Oh, this is back the way I came. Is it? Yeah, it is. Why are there so many blood stains here? These new game plus ones. Yeah, it looks like they are. <laughs> yeah, this place. Um, one thing Dark Souls 2 did, which I really liked for like tricking people is you can't always t trust the blood pools because they include blood pools from New Game Plus as well and New Game Plus adds extra enemies Whoa, dickhead. 
firing arrows at me straight away. And that dog made me jump. Yeah, I've only been twice, Dave. Like once when we went with school. And once when I went with Matt Thorpe. And like, I could barely stand up each time. Of barrels everywhere. Rise of sun. Be wary of enemy on the right. Liar. Right, what's in this? Single titanite shard. Tell you what, though. We plenty of enemies around here. I might go and light this area up with torches in a bit. Yeah, this is the place where Div's textures went crazy, where it all went bright white and you couldn't tell where anything was. Bradley of the Old Guard, you're an NPC. Kill this guy. There. Right, let's go and light this area up a bit so we can see it properly. I'm going to close these blinds as well so I don't get as much glare on my screen. Na -na 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 -na. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a... Uh, like a, a boat dock in a large cave. So you can see like the roof of the cave and stuff over there and the big boat. So let's go and light some of these up. Bum, 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 bum. But yeah, the reason you're supposed to have... The reason it's best to go through here with working textures is that there. There are parts of the water you can walk in and parts of the water you can't. Down, down, light. So you can see there, that part of the water I can walk on, that part I can't. And there's a bridge to drop down, so. What is over this way? Because you're obviously not a trap. Two of you. Three of you, four of you. Take that, you bastard. Five. Any more for any more? No, looks like there's just five of them. Give me this item, please. Yeah, it's the the whole fact that uh, if something is wearing armor, it takes extra damage from strike weapons like punching. Um, it does the same with the mace as well. 
but also because I've beat the Pursuer early on. I have a ring called the Ring of Blades, which is this one, which literally just increases my attack. And I have this ring, which makes it easier for me to stagger stuff. So most things, if I lay into them with punches, they're going to get staggered. If they're wearing armour, whoa, does extra damage. Now, if I remember right, that guy is a friend. See? He just follows you. just here to follow us with the torch. Uh, there are quality weapon devs, so a bit of both. You get A scaling from strength, B scaling from dex. So yeah, he can just be our friend for now. I don't think the other enemies will hit him either. Dog. Dog made me jump again. <laughs> nah, that's just the one level. Right, what's in here? Look, Teal. Hello. I thought that might be you. You haven't changed a bit, have you? I brought a friend as well. The longer I am here, the more madness I discover. A wretched place indeed, but not without traces of its former glory. What could have caused such degradation? Ah, yes. I have not thanked you for humouring me the other day. This is for you. Present. Of course, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> Our land of mirror is surrounded by enemies and constantly at war. There is only one way up in mirror. Join the order and prove yourself in battle. Look at him just wandering My around in the back, watching us. And no name. I had to carve out a piece of the world for myself. With two things. My sword and my loyalty to my lord. Um, I shall leave it up to chat. Other people want to call to a stalker. A sword from birth. Life was hard, but I never gave it a second thought. I had swift success on the battlefield and quickly attained respectable stature. And then I... And then I came here to... Oh no, that's not Have good. Have you heard of the undead? These poor souls affected by the curse. An undead gradually loses his humanity until his wits degrade completely. Finally, he turns hollow and preys upon others. And a hollow can never be human again. One can skirt this wicked fate only with the help of the souls found here. Assuming, of course, that the legends are true, I can only hope that they are. <gasps> Look, Teal took off her mask. And yeah, she is undead as well. You can see it on her face. I'm sorry. Philip. To burden you would talk of my fate. I suppose I've grown weary these days. Mm -hmm. 
I'm sorry. There we go. So yeah, Luca Teal has revealed that they are also undead. And that they are here looking for a cure. Because you have to find a cure before you go hollow. Are you stuck? And once you go hollow, you can never come back. So this is Philip the Stalker, who is going to help light up this place for us. And stuff down there. We have this building we've not been in. Lots of blood stains. Apparently, blood stains for no reason. But I've got a crossbow. Hi Brina. Hi Kelly. I've made a friend. Oh. You were hiding out weren't you? So this is Philip. Philip has a torch and is here to help light the way for us. Philip has lots of cool tattoos. Breener Chan! No! Did not want to hurt Philip. That was an accident. Oh, got another dickhead up there shooting fire arrows at us. Hi Dave! Got a power cut. What have you been doing? Oh, got another Pharos lockstone here. What does this do? Oh. It lights up everything! And this was on top of Philip's house. So now we've got lights everywhere. Or almost everywhere at least. Here's something that doesn't sound happy as well.
Watch this now, he'll have had another power cut and that's why he's not replying. Ah, oh, so it's just your hob that's done it. See, I was going to blame Katie's cooking, but... Whoa! Right. Are you a good chest or a bad chest? chest, you don't look like you're breathing at all. Um, we can't get through there yet. Some very angry sounding up there. Right, this is Wow, he's firing from a way away. Got one up there. One down there. Well, let's go. Be wary of wretch. Oh, I'm guessing it means that thing in the distance. Yeah, I thought it was making all the noise as well. I'm just going to take the archway out first. Thank you. Yeah, they don't like the light, do they? You can see it come out and look at me and then freak out. How do you like cross bubbles? <laughs> I wonder how po how well punching works against these things. Not much difference in the crossbow bolts, to be honest. Um, door. Ugh. Can't be backstabbed. And there's two of them there. Head back out here, which we know they don't like. Come on. Come this way. Again, tonight. Uh, fork knife. Ah, uh, another one. That should be the last of them. Right, what was in this sealed off bit? I said that should be the last of them. There's another one here. Get punched. And another door. Another one in here. Oh, there isn't. Real. Be wary of despair. Be wary of trap. Oop. That almost got me. Silver talisman. And why is there a blood stain here? Fighting somewhere behind him, so it's not a mimic. And 
great sword. And there's nothing else back here. <gasps> yeah, I'd do it just in case, Dave. Cave ahead. Man cave. Cave. Uh, I'm looking for stuff dropping down on me now. Like you. Yeah, just people being dumb. How do I get to that lower bit then? It's like a path down. Yeah, there is. And we have a bell. A boat. We got a boat that we can explore soon. But first, this way. What do we have rolling ahead. Okay. No, Brina, you're a fail bot. Wonder if I can target that guy from here. I cannot. Jump attack and then backstepping. Really? Oh, that thing. More than one. How do you guys do with firebombs? Not very well. Radiant life jet. Where does this door lead? Look at you. Whoop, that was close. Or oh, not. I've got this guy over here shooting me as well again. Assassin! Oh, that's a cool helmet. And he's got claws. Right, yes, the guy who shot the crossbow at me must be down here somewhere. Yeah, he's there. Oh, another assassin. Oh, I need some health, please. Another house here. What's in this one? Some more guys pretending to be dead. Ain't nobody believe you. And poison in jars. That guy just poisoned himself. Got 
Some of our chest. Another fragrant branch that will come in handy. And there's something there. I can hear a little. I can hear the tinkling of um, one of the little lizards. Oh, it doesn't break. Right, um, throwing knife. If I could aim it properly. There. I will have to come back here later if I need it. Just some more souls. More souls. And we've got... Royal Soldier's Ring. Which one is this? Duh, duh. Increases your equip load. Ring bearing the soldier's seal can increase the load that can be carried. These rings were granted to warriors who distinguished themselves in the service of King Vendrick. The king favoured simple warriors who stopped, staked their every battle on strength alone. So Vendrick is the king that we need to go and see. I heard a footstep then. Um... This below me is an area I've not been to yet, I think. Yeah, it is. So we'll have a look around here first. something moving. Let's see what's in these chests. Arch Titanite Shard. And three fire bombs. Okay, this guy. I'm faster than you. Now we have a friend. First, we need to open this. Because it's a shortcut. Hello, friend. This shall be Dave. Who are you? I, Gavlan. Gavlan will. Gavlan deal. Gavlan will. Gavlan deal. Many, many souls. <laughs> what you want? With Gavlan, hey, Philip's you back. Deal, you deal. <laughs> so, what does Gavlan have? Ring of Giants increases poise. Ring of the Beloved. Gallant Shieldless Lothian, formerly of Ferosa, increases poise. He sells poison arrows and he sells poison moths. Um, but we can also sell stuff to him. Will. Wants what? With ah, he just repeats the same thing over and over. You. But we can also sell stuff to Gavlan when we want to. Right. Hi, Phil. I think he's stuck behind Gavlan. He can't get past him. 
we shall leave them together. Right, so the only way to go... <laughs> that corpse must have reset. The only way to go now is down here. <gasps> got some more of these things. Good thing I got firebombs. This house appears to be pointless. Oh, we made it angry. And now I have been afflicted with bleed. Yeah, apparently if you damage it enough it doesn't bother about the light anymore, it just comes after you. But, no, nothing in here. Human effigy of a life gem. Another corpse. You are actually a corpse this time. And another shortcut to open them. With more fake dead bodies. Yeah, I think it's one of those things they decided to just give you Lestus again. So that's that shortcut opened. Um, some more guys on here. I can see you. Boy. Who are you? Lucatiel. So this fight down here is one we can ask Lucatiel for help with. There's a guy over there. Let's go and speak to the dude. Yeah, they did. When they did Scholar of the First Sin, they try, did try and reduce it a bit. So you could only get life gems in limited amounts from specific areas, but... I don't think this actually does anything, does it? No. No. Let's go speak to this dude then. Just sat chilling. Hmm. Hmm. I see light, but it remains dim. I am Carillion, and I've no interest in the magic impaired. Snooty bastard. So just because I can't use magic, he doesn't want to talk to me. Hmm. I see light. I am. Hmm. I see. I am Carillion. And... <laughs> yeah, just sort of sat there with his scrolls on his back. Right. Wait a second, he was talking about light. I wonder if it's another one of these things where we just have to light a torch near him. Um, yeah, I think it's the robes and stuff that he's wearing. So, like this. Just on the off chance that it's another torch thing. Because they did want to make... Like, this game originally had like a proper darkness mechanic. That never made it into the final release, where you were supposed to have like enemies respawning in darker areas and stuff like that. Hmm. I see you. I am... Nope. Now to do with the torches. Right. Light this again. These things. 
big ass storage chambers. Get punched. Hey, where'd you come from? Oh, my stuff is at risk. Do I have repair powder on me? I should do. There we go. One more. There we go. All up full. We've got another one of these guys up here. The last Bastille. And he's way tougher than the ones that are in the Bastille. Um, yeah, we've got wheel. And then we have below decks. So wish me luck, because if I remember right, this is another boss fight. Yeah, we've got a frog door there. It's going to be a boss fight. Uh, anything I want to use before I go in there? No. Nah. Like style sentry. So this boss has a pretty cool mechanic, which you probably won't get to see much on. Apart from being double edged. How's that? Very sneakily. Sneakily. Was over his head to hit him. It also does different attacks depending upon which end of it you're facing. Also, this room fills up with water. The longer the fight goes, so you can see filled up a little bit from when I went in. When I originally went in I could move quite easily. So the longer it takes you to do that fight, the higher the water gets until it is waist high and you can barely move. So you can see it's still going up a bit now. There we go, it is at about waist high now. So yeah, that is a fight you want to do quickly if you can. So we are in the other end of the boss room. We shall climb the ladder. We've got another chest. What does this have in it? Pyromancy flame and fireball. So, Pyromancer flame. Does not require any stats to use, but does scale. And fireball is here. Standard spell for Pyromancers creates a fireball that is hurled at foes. To use pyromancies, equip a pyromancy flame and to serve as the catalyst and assign a pyromancy to an attunement slot. The pyroman of the pyromancy is directly affected by the quality of the catalyst. So, I will be using some pyromancy. Most likely. 
I just need to attune some when I get around to it. And it is also going to go on the offhand. Uh, what is my attunement at actually? It's only six. I don't even know if I have a slot for it. What time is it? It's half seven. We've got half an hour until Brina starts. So I will go until eight and then we will raid on over to Brina and say hello. <laughs> if Punch Beth was controlled by Tiny, real Beth things would not have progressed this far. Nah, I reckon you'd do alright. So here we are on the docks. Prudence. Visions of despair. Visions of man and then beast. Toxic ahead. All the fun messages. All of them complete lies. So you've got this guy. You ain't fooling nobody. Although yeah. I forgot I had moved things around. Ah, you got me. I should have popped my weapons back properly before going in that room. Now, does it start me on the boat or does it chuck me all the way back? It chucks me all the way back, so this is going to be a sprint. Are you ready, kids? So the boat should still be here. Should. This is the wrong way. Yeah, the boat is there. So I've just got to leg it. So away we go. made it all that way and then died to two random guards in a room. No, you only ever have to fight bosses once. So I can just go through it. And yeah, you can see the water is back to ankle height. Yeah, if the boss gets a full health bar at the bottom, he doesn't respawn. So we use this again. We'll skip the cutscene this time. And we will head back to area. <laughs> Sherry and Brina. So, pick up them souls. Backstab this motherfucker. And it killed him in one that time because I had them both properly. And that is Sherry and Brina dealt with. Now, if I remember right, this is one of those elevators with secrets. But not there. Right, we need to call the elevator back down again. Because I know there are secrets around here. And we also need to use one of these. Back to normal death.
<laughs> Until Beth 2.0 is made. So this is going to take us all the way up, but I bet you there's going to be an it. Yeah, see, look, there's a secret there. So... Is there any more? Fire ahead, illusionary wall ahead. You get the rating. There. And here we have pointless, pointless, yes, pointless. So the secret area, you have to do this old trick. This way, I believe. Yep. We have scimitar, one of Dave's favourite weapons, and a repair powder. And it just drops us here. Oh well. Just leave Dave behind to get experimented on by the aliens again. Poor Dave. Burn, 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 burn. Right. So many red blood stains from people doing stupid things. Are you an actual body? Skeleton. More skeletons. Even more skeletons. Got um, a room with some common fruit in it. Which one is the common fruit? Boost poison resist. Got you. You more skeletons. A bonfire. Let's light this bonfire. This is the other end of the lost Bastille. It's why I left the place earlier and came back. In fact, look at this, I've just realised how many souls I've got on me. Let's go level up and maybe make the punching a bit better. There is another fight with a pursuer here as well, actually. So, bonfire. Let's get back to my jeweler. Yeah, the belfries are the PvP zones. Uh, we don't need you, we will keep the flame butterfly, get rid of you, get rid of you. Get rid of the big life gems. Get rid of these weapons. I don't have any attunement slots. Bearer seeks seek the nest list. So let's get uh, how much do I need for a single slot? 
I need to get it to 10. Bugger it, we'll do it. And now... So we've got one attunement slot and our agility is at 110, which is what we needed it to be at. So I believe we might be able to get it a little bit further, but let's have a look. Let's grab enough souls for a level up at least. There we go, so spells fireball we can now throw fireballs whoosh right and does my agility go up any further no I believe our agility is maxed out now Maybe. So I grab a couple of levels anyway. So That's maxed out. Um, so now, time to get um, do we want to get health or do we want to get damage? Put one in each. Now let's get us some fist upgrades. I knew. Reinforce. Oh, Time these need. Time to get good boom got him. Time to get good boom. You just require shards and a large. So I need chunks for those now. Anything changed around here? Oh yeah. Let's go and see Morlin. Or Morglin. Because he gets new stuff. Oh, hello again. Uh. Uh, shields are all the same. You're all the same for now. Yeah, after we've beat certain bosses, this guy gets more armor and stuff. From West, from Volgan. Have you been there? It's a very competitive, of course. But I didn't have the funding for that, so I left home in hopes of striking God. It's been years since then, and I've... <laughs> well, I've made very little headway. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm still here. Everything's all run down and dying. It's t terrible for business, really. A group calling themselves the Blue Sentinels have gained much power. You can't even run a shop without their blessing. They claim to be working for the greater good. Oh. Well, I. But he doesn't like the Blue Sentinels. Right, um. Let's go and see the map makers here, yeah. Just the piggy. Mr. Map Maker. Maybe I need to go and talk to him again. So, we've levelled up a decent amount. Let's go and cross off a couple of other bits in the earlier areas that we've not done. So we have the other route in Hades Tower of Flame. And I'm just going to go and see the map maker first as well. I don't see any snow yet, Dave. So, fuck these guys. Fuck 
you. Fuck you. Ah, uh, it's always fun coming back to an area after you've leveled up. Boulder. Oh, the boulder's gone. Also, fuck you. Let's talk to this map maker. Incredible, really, isn't it? Such a map to be chiseled in stone. Oh, but one thing. I would not venture deep into the mansion. Too late. No, I can't be certain, but I've heard disturbing noises. Something about it feels wrong. Just be careful, please. I'll be back in Maju. Perhaps we will meet again and discuss maps at our leisure. Cool, so I just didn't talk to him enough. So now he will head back to Majula. is resetting again. I forgot that game did this. Like as you go out of certain areas it unloads them and then reloads in the cor the area. So you end up with like corpses falling out of the sky and stuff. Right. To Majula! the map room there he is oh hello again you've made it the map I presume of course. Take a good look. Even more flames have appeared. Well, one flame. Did you see the flame on the map? It wasn't there when I came here before. I don't know what explains it. But there is something greatly comforting. It seems to fulfill something. Yeah, the Majuli music is great. Within the Some of my favourite music from Dark Souls. Something. I would not venture. It was blocked, but it was crumbling, and I finished the job. Now. Oh yeah, he's talking about down here, isn't he? Where Mr. Skeleton was. Also, this broken bit of pottery here on the floor. Is the Lord Vessel from Dark Souls 1, or looks like it at least. <gasps> nice one, Beth. 
I will poke you in the eye next time I see you to make sure. Right, so the next area we wanted to go to was back to Hades Tower of Flame. Uh, which way do we want to go? We'll go from the first bonfire. This bit could be painful. So, yep, they are wandering around. This is going to be painful. Those guys are a pain to fight. It'd help if I didn't fuck up fighting these guys as well. Missed this item earlier. Ah, it's only a talisman. So we've got another one of the knights wandering around in here. Tell you what. Because I know you'll follow me because you guys follow you for ages. Cannot be asked fighting those guys. Yeah, side effects vary. I know a couple of people who've had it who have had like no side effects whatsoever. But most people just felt like groggy and tired. Got two guys here. Which one of you is going to wake up? You. I put it down to him wanting an extra day off work. How far are you going to follow me, big boy? Then we have 
Oh, there's the dragon over there, isn't there? Meh. Get the crossbar again, because I know I'm going to need it. Grab this. And then we have this fella up here. Let's go punch a dragon then, shall we? Because that's what this next bit is. Or a drake, if not a dragon. Oh, cunt. Knocks me straight off. Now I've got to do this bit all again. Right. Yeah. Um, I wonder if I can just leg it to the dragon. I know the white knights will follow me quite far, but I don't know if they'll follow me that far. Run, bitch. That time I've made it. Uh oh. Other guys followed. Get stomped. While I try and kill the dragon. Breath down, please. Oh no. need to yeah punching a dragon um yeah i'm just gonna have to do it the careful way so get this guy's attention guys that are the problem. How much fire damage do you guys take? But it's not gonna be much. Oh, a little bit. Yeah, so I am just going to have to do it the careful way. And Brina should be live in a couple of minutes anyway, so... If he's not already.
the lie on. I'm just keeping an eye out for him. Oh yeah, he is already live. So, I will do this one last attempt at, at least getting to the boss. And then we will raid on Alex Greener. Because you know he'll just be playing uh, Spelunky at the moment. Those white knights as well, they used to basically be mini-bosses. In the original version of the game, there was like... I think so, like six of them in the entire game. Right. So we've got the one with the lance. And then I've got a dragon to fight. Crossbow bolts. Take a fireball to the face. There. So now it is punch the dragon time. Um This bit, if I run this way, maybe? Yeah. Now drop back down so I can punch you. There we go. Punched a dragon. And this will drop the drawbridge. I believe that dragon is a one and done as well, so I don't need to bother with him again. And this is a boss room, but I'm not going to fight the boss. I'm going to raid on over to Brina. So I'll just grab these. We've got a human effigy. We've got an old radiant life gem. And we've got boss fog. So, homeward bone. So... 
we are going to finish there for today. We've done quite well. We've got what? Got the last giant down. We got sewer down. We got Flexile Sentry. We got Dragon Rider. Got like four bosses down straight away. So I shall see you all next time. I'll be live again on Tuesday doing Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. It's a stupid long name for a game. But yeah, I started it a while ago as a one-off, but so I'm gonna continue and finish it. And then Saturday again we will be doing more of this Dark Souls 2. So I will see you all then. But for now, thanks for watching everybody, and we shall raid on over to Breener. Breener is playing some more XCOM 2 today. So remember to tell him that uh, aliens are evil, and tell him to make a new Beth as well. Because he just let Beth die and didn't make another one, so he's rubbish. So thank you for coming everybody and I shall see you all next time. Bye bye.